9.3 acid base theories. This is going to be the one with the most memorization for this unit. The first acid base theory is what's called an Arrhenius acid or base. So first we're going to talk about an Arrhenius acid. Definition is a substance whose water, aqueous solution, contains or yields H plus or H3O plus ions as the only positive ions in solution. For example, right, we dissolve HCl into water, we get H plus and Cl minuses. And these H pluses, this hydrogen or hydronium ions, are the positive ions in solution. H2SO4, we can get twice as many H pluses as the positive ions in solution. You have to remember that strong acids completely disassociate. They completely dissociate. So it'll be said to dissociate 100% in H2O. General rule for acids, hydrogen is the first ion seen in the formula. This is review. And then it becomes the only positive ion. Have to remember, though, that not everything that contains hydrogen are acids. Here's some examples of non-acids, like water is not an acid, it's neutral. It's amphoteric, we'll learn a little bit later in this lesson what that means. All right? Methane, CH4, not acids. Glucose, not an acid. Uh, ammonia, not only is it not an acid, it is a weak base. Other than that, most things that start with an H HCl, HF, HI, HNO3, H2SO4 are all acids. And that hydrogen in front is indicative of the fact that it's an acid. All right, on the other hand, an Arrhenius base is a substance whose water aqueous solution contains or yields, produces hydroxide ions. OH minus ions is the only negative ions when dissolved in water. Some examples, sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. Remember, as general rule, bases contain OH at the end of the formula. There is an exception. Uh, NH3 is ammonia. We dissolve that in water. That actually is a base. What happens is the water molecule splits up into H plus and OH minus and NH3 has this lone pair of electrons that this H plus is attracted to, leaving that OH minus as the dissolved, as the negative ion in the solution. Okay, so that's Arrhenius acid and base. Another theory is the Bronsted Lowry theory, and that's only because there are things that act as acids or bases that the Arrhenius definition doesn't really quite explain. So Bronsted-Lowry better explains the behavior of weak acids and bases. Now for Bronsted-Lowry, acids are said to be proton donors. The Bronsted-Lowry acid donates an H plus to the Bronsted-Lowry base. So right here's a strong acid and water the HCl donates this proton to the water molecule. We end up with H3O plus and a Cl minus. Bronsted-Lowry bases are proton acceptors. The Bronsted-Lowry base accepts the H plus from the Bronsted-Lowry acid. So here is our NH3, okay? The water is amphoteric, it'll give up an H plus, and then this H plus comes here and hangs out with the NH3, and now we end up with NH4 plus and OH minus. So this accepted a proton, an H plus. Lewis acid and base. Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor. A Lewis base is an electron pair donor. So this is 
different. Remember, the Bronsted-Lowry acid is a proton donor. Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor. Opposites. The Bronsted-Lowry base was a proton acceptor. The Lewis base is the electron pair donor. They are opposites. So here is a Lewis base. It has this extra electron pair, so it's H minus, and it donates it to this BH3 and becomes BH4 minus. So it's an electron pair donor. Now water can act as a base. It has these electron, I'm sorry, Water can go both ways. We'll see that in the next one. Here, the CH3 plus can behave like an acid. And since it's positive and this end of the water molecule is negative, the water molecule donates a pair of electrons to this acid. The acid accepts the pair of electrons. The water donates the pair of the electrons. Here, the base donates the pair of electrons. The acid accepts the pair of electrons. These words will be kind of used interchangeably. Amphoteric or amphiprotic is a substance that can act like an acid or a base. It can behave as a proton donor or an acceptor. And as we see below here, water can do both. Right? Water can actually give up. And you have HOH. And an H can break off, so we end up with OH minus and an H plus, which then finds another water molecule and hangs out with that to make H3O plus. All right, question time. Basic solutions are those that contain an excess of which? Acidic solution contain an excess of which? And according to the Bronsted-Lowry theory, what does H3O plus act like here? What is it doing? All right, that brings us to the end. I will see you guys in school.